I had to pee so bad, Weaver told MLB Network about his sprint to the restroom following the eighth inning. Superstition had to go out the window. Turns out the baseball gods have bladders, too, and they wouldn't dare smite the brilliance Weaver had spent two half hours fashioning beforehand. It was plenty easier to record the final three outs without his kidneys feeling like they were going to burst, and that's exactly what the 29-year-old did to polish off the best performance of his career and the second no-hitter in this young baseball season. The most ill-timed bathroom break since Forrest Gump told President Kennedy he had to pee ended up a humorous addendum to a magical evening for a Los Angeles Angels club devoid of many through its first 25 games. For one night at least, nobody cared that Albert Pujols went homerless again. Everyone hung on Weaver's 121 pitches, particularly the final 10 and the 9th. Twins shortstop Jamie Carroll hit one as far as Jamie Carroll can, and it went in the scorey book as a fly out to left field. Denard Span worked a strong at-bat until Weaver caught him looking at a front door two-seam fastball that would have made Greg Maddox proud. And Alexi Casilla sent Tory Hunter back in right field until he secured a tough on the run catch and started the celebration. Yeah screamed Weaver's dad, Dave. He, expletive, did it. Moments earlier, with one out separating his son from history, Dave Weaver did what any dad would, he picked up his plastic cup of beer and took a nice tug. It was like he knew he'd be celebrating and wanted to pregame a little. The festivities turned emotional from the jump. Water welt in Weaver's eyes soon after he locked down the tenth no-hitter in Angel's history, and it expelled itself as he hugged his dad. Dave Weaver raised two major league sons, Jared and older brother Jeff, and short of Jeff locking down the 2006 World Series for the St. Louis Cardinals, Dad couldn't have a prouder moment.